I'm in Chelsea at an open call for Sex and the City Part 2. I'm about to go inside for my big audition after waiting in line for three hours with thousands of well-heeled hopefuls clamoring for a chance to stand in the background behind Gary, Miranda, and all. Now let's check out the competition. So after all these years, is Sex and the City still this relevant? Of course. Sex and the City is a classic movie, especially for women my age, at any age. And um, I'm here to just be a part of it. That's why there's such a big turnout. It's huge. I'm 76 and a half years old. And I thought, my God, Sex and the City, wouldn't this be fun? So here I am. Well, I've just been through a grueling audition. I approached the casting director, handed her a stat sheet with my hair color, eye color, telephone number, approached an assistant who took my photograph and showed me the door. We have people here jumping the barricade. They've been waiting in line for hours, just trying to get into the Sex and the City audition. Why can't these people audition? They've been waiting in line for hours, some of them. They have to cut it off at a certain point, which was like about, I think about three o'clock-ish. I waited for hours and hours. I came all the way from Connecticut to be here for the Sex and City 2 audition. I did not make it. I'm very, very disappointed. They said it was open until four o'clock, and I believed them. But at around 2.45, I got here, and they sent me all the way around the block, and then they cut the line off, like, right in front of me. They said you could go online and put your picture in, but you know nobody's going to look at it, so this is the card of sadness. After 10 hours and thousands of auditions, most of us will have to wait until the premiere to catch a glimpse of Sex and the City Part 2. I'm Amber Sutherland reporting for NYPost.com.